Hi, this is Dennis with Wheel Kinetics, and you're looking at our 2008 GMC Duramax 4x4 Sierra. This truck has 14,000 miles. It is a salvage title from a rejected repair. It's kind of different for us. What a rejected repair means is that it was involved in a non-salvage level accident, basically your garden variety accident. It was repaired, but it wasn't repaired to probably what was the owner's standard. So the owner didn't want the car back, and so he fought with the insurance company, and for whatever reason, he ended up winning. And so they paid out the full value of the car, which under law forces them to salvage the title. So this would generally have been a clean title with just an accident history, but because he didn't approve the repair, it came out as a rejected repair salvage. Now the story we were told by the auction is that it was rejected because it went over on time, about 60 days. Um, whether or not that's true or not, we're not sure, but that was the story we were told. Um, as you can see going around the truck here, it's a really, really clean truck. In fact, the only thing really going on is this little guy right here, a uh, little dent and scrape, kind of cut into it. Um, as far as where the accident was, we were told that it was the right, or I'm sorry, the driver's side front, so right over here. Um, and to our estimation, our professional knowledge, they did a quite a good repair. The paintwork on the driver's door has quite a few fish eyes and floaties, which may have been what he was upset about. I don't know that you're going to be able to see it here on the video very well, or in the pictures, in fact. But it's not great paint on the door. The rest of it looks very, very good, and it's hard for us to tell what happened. As you can see from the undercarriage pictures, the undercarriage looks real good. Um, everything's straight. Uh, the suspension obviously wasn't replaced from uh, whenever the previous owner installed that. So, um, it's uh, all in pretty good shape. So let's uh, take a quick look inside and then we'll go for a quick drive. As you can see, it has all leather interior. Um, it has a lot of the upgrades that you're looking for in this. It does not have navigation, that's about the only thing. It has the rear parking sensors. Um, obviously it's a four by four, it does have the trailer brakes. We'll turn it on here for you. Turn the air off. Okay, that light that's on there is the seatbelt light. So you can see odometer, 14,000 miles. Um, it does have a trailer brake. That's not very common in these, but there is is integrated. It does have heated seats with memory right there. And then uh, we'll take it for a quick drive. Very, very, very clean truck overall. You can see it hits all of its shift points, not a problem. We'll come up here and we'll uh, put it in four wheel drive. You can see that that works. Okay, clicked over. Feel the torque. Very good running, very strong. So it does have the title issue, which is why you're going to see the price less. And in our opinion, that's the reason you should buy it. You know, a lot of these cars you'll see, they'll have accent histories on them, they'll be clear titles, but they'll try to pass them over on you, and you'll pay a lot more money for them. This one, everything's up front. You know the issues. It was it had some sort of an accident on the front. This was one that they would not have normally salvaged it for. The owner got real upset, complained a lot, and for whatever reason, um, was able to get to the insurance company to buy it. But the insurance company had this fixed uh, by a professional shop. We're going to have it uh, on our on the internet. It's going to be a reasonable price, and uh, we hope uh, that you like it and uh, make an offer on it. Thank you.